Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Home Mojo. This is John, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about something very cool with the Nest Learning Thermostat, and that is a feature called Farsight. That's right, I said Farsight. Now, Farsight might be one of the best features of the Nest Learning Thermostat, and it isn't really highlighted as much as I thought it would be on either the Nest website or in the packaging that the Nest comes in. I think it's one of the coolest interactive features about the Nest thermostat that makes it so much fun to have this smart device in your house. So don't go anywhere as we're about to dig into Farsight technology on the Nest Learning Thermostat. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are back at the Nest thermostat and we're learning about Farsight technology, which is one of the great features of the Nest thermostat. Now, before I show you what it does on the thermostat, let me tell you what Farsight technology is. So on the face of the Nest thermostat there, there's a motion sensor and it detects motion about eight to 10 feet away. And then, it, and then the Nest thermostat comes on and it, it displays information. And there's about five things that the Nest thermostat will display based upon what you choose it to display using the Farsight technology, which I'll show you in a second. So this is a really cool feature. So you don't have to come up and actually look at the thermostat to see what it's set to. If you're walking by it or approaching it, it'll come on and you can see this from across the room. We have the big, big numbers uh, and, and it'll tell you, you know, a number of different things. So uh, I'm gonna test it out right now. Uh, obviously I'm not eight feet away from it, I'm right next to it, but trust me, it's about eight to 10 feet away that it comes on and detects motion. And I'm gonna wave my hand in front of it so you can kind of see. So I'm waving my hand there and it comes on. And right now I have it set to the target temperature. So that's what it displays on that setting. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the other four different settings here close up in terms of what the Farsight technology will display uh, when it comes on. Okay, so now that we have a close-up shot here of the nest, let's wake it up and wave our hand past it as it wakes up with a Farsight and show you the different options that you could be dis that could be displayed here um, using the Farsight as the nest wakes up as it senses motion. So in order to select the different options to look at them, you just simply push in on the nest thermostat and then scroll down counterclockwise to the uh, gear icon here, which is the setting. And then what you'll do is you'll scroll clockwise about five of these blue circles over until you see the display and it says Farsight and I have the target temp one select so I'll show you exactly what that means. And so using Farsight there's five different things that will display. The target temp and the current temp, an analog clock, a digital clock, and the weather. And we're going to look at each one of these. Um, so I'm going to look at target temp first, which is actually the one that I had selected. Uh, target temp and current temp are the same. As I select this and go out here and show you, I'll let it reset. Once you actually activate Farsight and it senses motion, it comes on for about 12 or 15 seconds and then it shuts off again and goes blank until you re-engage it with uh, um, motion or come up to it and engage it. So we'll let it go off here and I'll show you. We have it selected to target temp. And so as it goes off here, I'll show you when I wave my hand in front of it, uh, it'll come on. And so this is the target temp. Now, target temp and current temp actually show the same screen. I've engaged Nest about this. So uh, when you have these two selected, the number in the middle is always the target temp. It's never gonna be the current temp. The current temp is always around the outside ring there. So current temp is 73, as you see there. And the current temp, uh, target temp is set to 70. Now, when I select current temp, we'll go sh do it so I can show you, these settings don't change. And it's just the way the software was, I think, programmed right now. Maybe they make a change in the future, but um, as it stands today, target temp and current temp, and I just selected current temp, we'll go look at it, um, are the same. And so let's uh, let it sleep, come back, we'll wake it up, and we'll show you current temp. All right, let's wake up the nest and look at current temp and you'll see that I think it's the same, right? And it, and it is. I've, I've, I've done a lot of different things. I've updated the software on it. I've called an engaged nest. It's always the same and that's their, their, uh, their feedback now is that target temp is always in the middle. Current temp is always on the outside. So this is what it is when you select either option, target in the middle, current on the outside. So let's look at the other three options we have here. We'll go back down to the gear icon, kind of go clock, uh, clockwise over to display and look at analog clock. So let's take a look at analog clock. Be right back. 
All right, let's wake up the nest and look at analog clock. And there's your analog clock. Um, you've got the hour, minute, and second hand. You've also got the date down below there, Wednesday th the 3rd. The month doesn't show up, it's just the day in the month, but that's pretty cool as well. So that, if you want a clock uh, coming up on your nest, um, or nests, if you have many of these, you could have an analog clock show up as you walk by it. So let's head over to the settings again and look at digital clock. Drop down and select digital clock, hit OK, done, counterclockwise out. All right, let's let that sleep and wake it up to digital clock. All right, let's wake up the nest and see what digital clock looks like. And there's the digital clock. The only difference here is that obviously it's digital, but it has the day here, which is kind of cool. So it's 9.30 a.m. Wednesday, April 3rd. And so that is what the digital clock option looks like using uh, the Farsight technology. So um, there is just one more option left. Let's scroll over and select weather and, and then we'll do a recap of all of them and talk about all of them at once there. So let's let it sleep and wake it up to weather. All right, let's wake up the nest and show you what weather looks like. And so this is pretty cool. So it's got the current temperature and it's got some cloudy, it's a little cloudy outside, so it's 57. What I like about this is that it also shows you for the next, you know, um, 12 hours what the temperature is going to be. So at one o'clock it's going to be 63, 66 at five, and at nine o'clock it's going to be 9 p.m. and it'll be 63. So this is pretty cool. I have this setting to the upstairs nest in my bedroom so when I wake up I know the current temp real quick and then the temperature throughout the day. So it's pretty cool to know how the temperature is going to fluctuate if it does throughout the day. So uh, this is weather on the nest thermostat. So let's go back out and just do a quick recap but we'll go to the settings area kind of just recap what we uh, what we had here. So using Farsight, you do have five different options, or four really, um, for it to wake up and show you information. So target temp and current temp, as we talked about, are always going to be the same. Um, the target temp is always going to be the big number in the middle, and the current temp is always going to be on the ring around the outside, no matter which one you select. It's just the way the software is built and, uh, and how Nest responded when I inquired about it. Uh, there's no difference in those two options. Um, we looked at analog clock, which had the hour, the minute, and the second hand, and the date, um, and then digi digital clock, which actually had the day of the week, and the time, and the, and the month and day as well. And then the last option was weather, which has not only the current temperature of the weather, but it also had the weather for the next 12 hours, so you can kind of see what the weather is going to be like throughout the day. So those are the five options um, you have using the Farsight technology. Um, Again, I, I use weather on the upstairs one to see the weather throughout the day when I get up in the morning. And then downstairs, I use a different one. So you may find that you use the same option on all your nests, or if you have multiple nests, uh, or you may decide to swap it up like I do uh, on the two different nests. So those are the different five options on the Nest Thermostat using Farsight technology. Okay, so hopefully that little tutorial on Farsight technology, what it is, the feature, and then the options you have within the Nest Thermostat gives you a good indication of what I think is one of the best features of the Nest thermostat, which is the ability for it to recognize motion and turn itself on, which is pretty cool. And then it gives you a couple of different options, five different options, to display information on the Nest thermostat, whether it's a clock, the current temperature, or the weather over the next uh, you know eight to 10 hours of the day. So it is really a cool feature. I think it's one of the best features. The other thing I think about Farsight technology with a Nest thermostat is that it really is a smart device and so having a, a thermostat that you can see from across the room in terms of what temperature it's at or what it comes on and displays wherever you want it to i mean that's a, a key function of the you know being a smart device i think it's its ability to recognize motion turn itself on and, and have a display and give information to you throughout the day whether it's weather a clock or the current or target temperatures in the house so I think the Farsight technology on the Nest thermostat is pretty cool in a smart home device. You know, before I had one of these Nest thermostats, I had an older device, but I would have to go up to it and you'd have to play around and look and see what it was set at. 
you know, using the Farsight technology with these big numbers on the Nest thermostat, you can just be walking by it or walking near it and it'll turn on and it'll display to you a number of different things as we showed, either the current temperature, a clock, or the temperature throughout the day over the next 12 hours. So the Farsight technology in the Nest thermostat is pretty cool. Um, one other use case that I find very useful in the Farsight technology is that I have a couple of dogs and late at night sometimes they go out. Whenever I get up from bed, upstairs in our bedroom, the Nest thermostat almost acts like a nightlight and illuminates the room. I could get the dogs, find them, get them downstairs, and then back up and back in bed. So there are definitely some very useful things that uh, Farsight technology and the Nest they're Learning thermostat will offer you as you experience the Nest thermostat with this technology in your home. Okay, well that wraps up the video today on Farsight technology on the Nest Learning thermostat. Hopefully this video has given you a good indication of just what Farsight technology is and what it can offer you on the Nest Learning Thermostat. Again, please take a quick second and hit those subscribe and like buttons so we can keep growing our channel and continue to bring you smart home technology videos. This is John with Smart Home Mojo. Thanks for watching the video today.